Hey folks, in this video I'm going to walk you through one of my favorite features of the SSL6 and explain how it fits into my electronic music workflow. So the feature that I want to talk to you about today is called the bus B function. If you look at the console here, you'll see four buttons. Each button uh, says mute bus B underneath it. Uh, so the primary function of the button is of course as a mute. If you engage it, it mutes the output of that signal to the main outputs of the console. If, however, you engage the bus B button, which is right here, it will not only mute the output to the main outputs, it will send that signal to uh, an alternative bus, which you can then hear in your headphones or uh, on your monitors. Now, how this is useful in an electronic music creation context is that, uh, let's say you have a drum machine running through channel one, and you have a couple of synths going to channels three and uh, this, there's channel two and stereo three, four, and then maybe you have your Ableton coming through on five, six, uh, or some software instrument from another DAW. Uh, now, what you want to accomplish is to record just one synth sound, but you also want to hear everything else that's going on in the mix so that you have some context. And so you can jam it out and you can modulate the parameters of that synth um, and then just have a isolated recording. Uh, now, this might not be particularly useful to folks who have a ton of uh, ins and outs in their, in their interface already. So for me, who has an, someone who has an Apollo, uh, this unlocks a lot of capabilities for my workflow because I only have two inputs on that, right? Uh, so this is a great way for me to be able to, you know, work with a lot of hardware and, you know, be, be hearing a lot of things at the same time, uh, in a live context, uh, while also capturing isolated recordings of what I want when I want to. Um, now I'm going to show you an Ableton set that I created just to walk through this practically. Um, here we have three tracks. The first is a mix down of a track that I created last week. It's sort of like a chill dance music track. And then um, the next one is a software synth. It's an SH-101 emulator. And that's coming through um, a separate channel on the SSL. And then this is an input from the SSL uh, main outputs. Uh, and this is going to be the recorded signal from uh, when I sort of jam it out with the tune. So I'm going to play the tune right now. And you can hear that right here. And then if I unmute the software synth, can hear it right now. And now in the context of my workflow, say I wanted to start modulating the parameters of the synth. I could simply press record. And I could hit mute bus B. And through my headphones right now, I'm still hearing the wave mix down track. Um, and so I can just, you know, do, do fun stuff with this isolated track here. Add some delay, change the frequency. And obviously I have that sound isolated as soon as I press the bus B button and I can just use that however I want in my track. So hopefully this has been illuminating to you uh, as to one of the ways that you can use the SSL 6 in a uh, context of electronic music creation. Um, 
And yeah, I, I created this music or I created this video because I f- was looking at the six and I didn't see a lot of content um, around how to use it. And I felt a little bit intimidated by it. So um, I'm going to be going deeper into uh, the features that I'm unlocking while using this machine in relation to my, uh, you know, ra- rather specific workflow. Um, now, I would love to hear from you in the comments if you're using this a console differently, or if you have any uh, insights for me as to how I can go deeper into it. Uh, and I, I'm also creating more content around music production, um, mixing, and uh, sound engineering, sound design uh, more generally. So please like and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in this kind of content, as I'm going to be creating it on a very regular basis uh, for the next little while. So thank you very much and see you soon.